Hey, how's it going guys? I'm Dom and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are checking out another set of air conduction headphones. This time, they are by a brand called Truefree. And they are the Truefree 01 wireless earbuds. So, these are slightly different compared to the ones I've tested in the past, mainly because they're actually separated, they don't have that sort of band around them which make it a single unit. And yeah, that's what the box looks like. If we take a look at some of the key features of the True 301s, they have a 16.2mm dynamic driver, 45 hours of playtime, a dual mic for noise cancellation. And if we have a look at the back, they also have Bluetooth version 5.3, We've got a frequency response range between 20 Hz and 20 kHz. The maximum working distance is 10 meters. In terms of playtime, they have about 10 hours each or up to 45 hours with the charging case. The battery capacity is 60 milliamp hours, that's for the actual earbuds. And if you combine that with the charging case, you get 700 milliamp hours. Uh, now, I am incredibly excited about these simply because I haven't actually tried a set of air conduction headphones like this. Before we get any further in this video, I just wanted to give a huge shout out to my friends at Truefree who kindly sent me these to try out in return for my honest review. Yeah, so let's take a closer look at the box. Sound in heaven. So these are your full specs. And yeah, Let's open it up and see what we get inside. Oh, bit of static. Right. Wow. So one of the first things I'm seeing is that the box is actually quite massive. Um, it's a lot larger than any other wireless earbuds I've tested. So for comparison, we have the Soundbeat Engine 4 here. It's quite a large box but it's not that big that it won't fit in your pocket we'll take a closer look at that in just a moment um, other than that you have a cushiony thing here um, you've got your instruction manual um, and you have what appears to be accessories I don't think we're gonna get anything other than the charging cable here Typically, I've opened it the wrong way. <laughs> Let's open it the correct way. So, yeah, that is literally it. I'm not sure if you can see inside of there. But, yeah, you get a very basic USB A to USB C charging cable. So, we'll put that back in there. And we'll take a closer look at the headphones. Wow, one thing I'm already seeing is that they're actually not that light. The box itself feels very plasticky, but it's not light. So it appears that you have some LED indicators here. Your USB-C charging cable goes into there. And yeah, these are the headphones. Now, whilst the box does feel cheap, I don't think the earbuds do. They do feel premium and another thing I'm going to say is that they are actually a lot lighter than I thought they would be. Yeah, you've got two of these here. And yeah, this is what they look like.
we'll put these to the test a little bit later first let's remove the tab that says remove me it's been a while since I recorded the last part of this video so let's discuss my thoughts on these so for starters I know that the case looks a little bit bulky but it's actually incredibly light and it fits into my pocket really really well now I've used these in a number of scenarios mainly for cycling but I've also used them for walking I've used them around the house as well as well as some garden work and the first thing I wanted to say is that they feel extremely light on your ear. In fact, they feel so light that you actually tend to forget that they're there, even when you're wearing glasses. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to just demonstrate how I put them on. So it's this part here that goes on top of your ear. And then this part here goes behind it. So essentially it's like that and it just sort of sits there and it feels pretty comfortable I mean when you wear them for a while you tend to forget that they're there and same goes for this one here now yeah you just tend to forget they're there and they sit on your ear really really well now I was a little bit concerned about these in the sense that there isn't a band which links the two together in the back of my head like there is with many other like there is with many other air conduction headphones I've tested on this channel but I was actually surprised I took these on some rough terrains with my bike and they didn't fall out once now this actual speaker which is here tends to point out the sound really really well down to your ear canal and I've tested these in some pretty rough conditions actually. Now for those of you who don't live in the UK or the southwest of the UK to be exact, um, the weekend was pretty windy and you know when I tried to cycle you know with them all I heard in my ears was wind because you know it's, it's what happens you get wind in your face when you cycle obviously and these coped with that really really well because of the way that the speakers pointed I could easily hear the music that I was playing and on top of that to make things even better and on top of that to make things even better um, I didn't even have to put the volume up so that's a huge thumbs up from me on that now I love this sort of technology and the reason for that is it actually makes you safer because you know you don't use earbuds which completely cover your ear or headphones which completely cover your, your ear I don't know how some people manage to do that I mean I get that you have you know transparency modes and the pass-through modes on these modern day headphones or earbuds but I would be concerned myself if I was to you know ride a bike with headphones that's just me obviously you know transparency mode and um, pass-through sound have actually got extremely good over the last couple of years but I would still be a little bit concerned especially with earbuds because I would constantly be checking to see if they haven't fallen out but these I can actually feel them on my on the top of my ear but they're so light that you will eventually forget about them and I did actually um, check a few times during my ride over the weekend to make sure that they're still there that's a never good thing but yeah in terms of sound quality, I think that these are very, very good for the price especially. Obviously, because of the fact that they are air conduction, you can't really expect earbud sound quality. Although, these will surprise you, I think, because they sound pretty good and you do get that bass experience. Now, in terms of my quality, well, you be the judge of that. Yes, I'm now talking through the mic built into the True 301 and yeah this is what they sound like let me know what you think in the comments overall i am incredibly satisfied with these earbuds and i think that i highly recommend that you get yourself a set of these especially if you run especially if you are a cyclist or if you just like going on walks because not only can you hear your music but you can also hear everything around you now and, and in fact one thing that I really do recommend, and this is something I've been doing for a while now, is listening to audiobooks. So I've tried listening to audiobooks on these. Once again, they cope pretty well. Um, 
But the reason for that is there's actually some really good books out there, especially when it comes to productivity, which is something, you know, especially when it comes to productivity or personal development, which is something that is pretty close to my heart. And if you're subscribed to services such as Audible, you do tend to have some pretty good selection of ebooks. And throughout the space of week, I do tend to get through quite a lot of audiobooks. Now, I'm currently listening to Dale Carnegie, How to Win Friends and Influence People, which is something that I've read once before, and I even listened to it once before. But it's one of those books that does really help you in life, and I highly recommend checking that out. But yeah, that's it for me in this video. If you like this video, it will mean a lot to me if you hit the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more great content. And yeah, till next time.